Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hello, children. Old Cappy pissed away two hours of his life trying to figure out how to program a website. You got it that close. That close, guys. And man, those WordPress templates are absolute shit. Oh, you have to program CSS to get rid of that. Oh, where do I program? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> hey, and I'm going to try and keep this short and to the point. I'm 20 years old living in Utah. I moved here from New Jersey after graduating from high school and had little contacts with my parents anymore. Currently, I work 45 hours a week. One of the top construction companies of the state grossing around 35000 I live with my girlfriend and two other roommates. My monthly expenses are 300 a month. Oh, that's dirt cheap rent. 140 of car insurance. 140 of what are you driving? That's 140. That's more than liability. Did you buy yourself foolishly a nice car instead of a good work truck? For a month of Wi-Fi and about 200 on food and groceries. That's that. That's a good budget. That's still a good budget. I have no debt. A little over 2,500 savings and a paid off 2006 Kia Optima. Good kid. Is that just insure? Oh, wait. Wait, no, 2006? You just need liability on that dude, right? What is 20 years old. Is, that, is it that expensive for a 20-year-old guy? I know I paid more when I was younger, but gosh, that just seems a little high. My issue I'm having is I don't see myself working this job forever. Promotions seem far and few between. <clears throat> I'd actually like to further my education, get a STEM degree, possibly in electrical engineering or computer science. I'd like to be able to focus on being a full-time student at my local community college. Uh, by my job, will by my job will be move. By my job, will be moving to a mandatory ten-hour shifts Monday through Friday. I'm thinking of taking on private student loans from my credit union to cover my tuition and possibly rent. While I find part-time work, hang on, I'm ready. Taking out private student loans from the credit union to cover your tuition, possibly rent while you work, find part time work for my other expenses. You got a 767 FICO score, so I shouldn't have any issue being approved. No, I don't think so. While my parents haven't done their taxes uh, in years, so I can't use them for FAFSA, my financial aid. Office already declined my dependency override. Tuition at community college is just under two thousand a semester for full time students, so just four thousand a year. Dude, you you have such low expenses. Can't you just afford the the cash? I know thirty five is not a lot of money, but with with such little expenses, you there's you should be able to save up four grand for a year, and I would be paying three thousand six hundred in rent. Uh, obviously, I don't have to. Totally cover my rent with loans, but I'm thinking six thousand a year in loans should be okay. This comes out to twenty four thousand plus interest for my STEM degree, which seems like a good investment. But I need the green light from someone with real knowledge like yourself. As far as working while in school, I heard Costco is flexible with school and pays well. I have a forklift cert I could try to use there, and maybe just working at a restaurant or some other bullshit that pays decent. Maybe Uber next year once I turn twenty one. Yeah, the car's too old to do Uber though. Does that sound okay with you? None of those are bad ideas. None of them. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a better idea. I'd really like to avoid part-time school at all costs because I want to get my degree ASAP so I can start making the big bucks and pay back my loan. Thanks, Internet Dad. You don't want to join the military. And I said, when do you need to earn this degree? Do you need to have it done in four years or can you have it done in six or seven? Also, can you work another job at night while you turn school during the day? I'm not interested in joining the military at this time. I would strongly prefer the, to finish this degree in four years. My plan sounds okay to you. I'd really like to be a full-time student during the day while working nights. All right. <clears throat> to answer your question, yeah, dude, $24,000 in debt is nothing, frankly, by today's standards, for a legitimate uh, and, and uh, qualified degree. $4,000 a year is nothing. Well, wait a minute. You, you said you, oh, that's you also have to have living expenses, so $6,000. Um, yeah, uh, you could do that, and you're investing in STEM, so uh, I would not worry too much about accruing that modicum of student loans. Uh, I would tailor some of your variables for your approach. I know you could be a forklift operator. I know you can work Costco. You could drive Uber. Problem is when you're doing all that stuff, 
you don't you don't have time to study. That's time you can't be studying. So you're going to school and sitting in class, and then you got to go work. Well, where do you study? And this is why I say security is security. That is how I got through college was working security, and not only working secure uh, get through college, but aced all my classes. I got an A minus or two here or there. Um, that's how I got great grades because you're just forced to sit there and do nothing but study. So there should be these kind of quasi-student jobs out there where you're working as a parking lot attendee, you're working in the dorms, you know, be the, the late night dorm guy. Um, you could be a night watchman at some warehouse. And in an ironic sense, you want to work the dog shift. Or you at least want to work the second shift, you know, like from 5 to 1 a.m. if you could pull that off, 6 to 2 a.m. Because you don't want to deal with people, man. You don't want to deal with people. Not only are most people assholes, um, they talk and they take away your time from, from you studying. So I don't know how big the town is that you're in out there in Utah, uh, but you should be able to find some kind of quasi-security-like job or some kind of job where you could study uh, while on duty. If you get a carry conceal permit, I know that really helps out employment. Uh, I don't know if Utah you need to be licensed or not. Sometimes you got to take a class to work security. But it doesn't have to be security. It just has to be somewhere you can study on the job. I didn't ask for that. I say, I'm only interested in jobs that I can say. And they're far and few between. We should be able to find one. Um, so if you can't find that, then okay, yeah. Then it's really just money. Well, I think forklift would probably be the, the better paying one because it's a skill. Costco... Um, Oh, you mean to work at Costco as a forklift operator? Yeah, you could do that. Your construction, maybe if it still pays well. Um, I I wouldn't go with a restaurant. I mean, you if if you can't study on duty, then the number one thing is how much you getting paid. Uh, but then this is going to throw a real heavy curveball at you. Because, man, that is hard. You're going to go study STEM. You're going to work a job, even admittedly if it's part-time. You're not going to be able to study while you're working that job. Then you got to study on top of it. Um, that's going to be hard, man. And to do it in four years, look, I know you hate school. I hated school, too. Uh, but I, I, if I were to tell my younger self, I said, dude, take an extra two years. Because, one, you're not going to find any jobs anyway. <laughs> you might because you're in STEM. But... Uh, it, there was no reason, no re well, there was. I got out of school early and I didn't have any student loans. So, I mean, there, there was a reason. But I would have had a lot easier time, a lot more enjoyable time, if I had just taken my time and gone part-time. Um, so much so to, to the extent that I would recommend that if you can't find a job that you can work at night and study um, while you go to school during the daytime, I would go to school part-time. I know you may not like it, but you're not going to accrue your debts. Uh, you're not going to um, uh, 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 lower your GPA because you're taking the time. You got adequate time, so you're not going to push your health. Oh, dude, I would always get sick, and I work when I was sick. Oh, it was horrible. Oh, I'm sleep deprived and hungry. Um, don't do that, dude. D d just take. Trust me. I'm older. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Take the extra two years, okay? Uh, and, and here's the other thing. If you, like, don't go immediately to school, you know, take these weeding out classes. Why don't, why don't you try this approach? While you go to the community college, they're going to make you take Calc 1, 2, and 3, or I don't know, maybe Integral Calculus or whatever they call the different ranks. Um, they're going to make you take Physics. Why don't you knock those out of the way first to see if you can do this? I'm not saying you're not intelligent enough to do it, but let's before you commit to this and giving up a job, why you take those weeder out classes at your local community college uh, and, and just give one semester of part-time schooling a shot, okay? Let's just try that for, for beginners. Then you'll be able to better assess your capacity for work, studying, and uh, school, attending classes. Um, and then, you know, it gives you a little bit more time to save up some more money. You'll be able. You'll borrow less, and then uh, maybe you find yourself uh, the perfect security guard gig that you get to study while you you know you do a patrol once an hour or something like that. Um, but I would not give up your daytime job, sign up for full time school. Let's let's try. Let's try this first semester you got coming up this fall. Sign up. Oh, can you do three classes? 
calculus. What would they make you take? I'd have to take a look at the list. So you could take two classes and maintain your full-time job. I know you don't want to go to school part-time. Take a part-time low. Take two classes. See where that puts you. All right? <clears throat> You're making enough money right now, your regular job. You won't have to accrue debt for this. And then it'll be less money you have to borrow. But, I mean, if you want to push it and you want to work part-time and go to school full-time, yeah, absolutely do. $24,000 in student loans is absolutely nothing. And uh, you'd be able to pay that off in two years with the starting salary of your average engineer. Um, I just, you know, don't don't burn yourself out is what I'm saying. All right, glad we had that chat. You guys got questions? Cappy's got answers over at assleconsulting.com. Uh, I'm going to try and get that older brother website up. Honest to God, just, oh, I'm so pissed off about that. So, all right, I'll see you guys later. Toodles.